Our Rangers about to say bye bye to their left, their Croatian left back. Is Borna Barisic about to depart the club? That's what we're going to discuss here on Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host Owen. And guys, it's the channel that brings you your team every single day, all for free. Well, guys, it's in the news. It's been reported. We've got to talk about it. It's the Croatian media, however, that are running the story that uh, Borna Barisic is wanted back in his homeland, and it is reported also that Borna is keen on a move back to his homeland um, after the birth of his child. Uh, Barisic, who is uh, you know, 31 now, um, is moving, I think, into the twilight of his career. And the rumour is that he wants to finish his career back in Croatia. Now, transfer deadline days are weird things, aren't they? We all know that the transfer deadline has passed here and it is over and we can't sign or sell any more players. Well, so you'd think, but apparently it's not standard across the world when the, when the transfer windows close. Saudis closes Thursday. Um, apparently Croatia's closes Friday. Um, it does seem utterly bizarre there is not one standard, especially if it may be, you know, a European standard across UEFA. Croatia are, after, after all, members of UEFA. So it is very weird, but their transfer window doesn't close till Friday. Now, it's been reported by the Croatian media that Dinamo Zagreb are very keen on a move for Borna Barisic before a Croatian transfer deadline day on Friday. However, they have recognised now that it is very unlikely that Rangers will sell this summer, even with Borna only having one year left on his contract. Why? Well, Borna has made a reasonable start to the season in many people's eyes. In some people's eyes, they still think he's useless. Um, so there's been a number, of, there's been a controversy over the his decision to come off against PSV and a lot of debate around that and discussion around that. And then his um, unavailability for the Celtic game on Sunday and then his sudden miraculous recovery in time to be able to play for his national team. Well, I'll leave you to discuss that, that yourselves but according to Croatian media um, it is reported that they are exceptionally keen on bringing Borna Barisic back to Croatia and to play for Dinamo Zagreb but like I said because the transfer deadline day has passed in England and Scotland Rangers are unable to move to for a replacement therefore highly unlikely to allow him to leave if uh, Bar Barisic was to leave, it would leave them with Rivan Yilmaz, who's still returning from injury, and uh, the untried, untested. Well, I suppose he's played 60 minutes, 70 odd minutes of a game against Celtic, but very much untested Dujon Sterling as their potential left back candidate. I suppose that Adam Devine also nodding around in the background. It seems more likely that Dinamo Zagreb will make a big push to sign Barisic in January. Now, why in January? Because because of the fact that he is a free agent this summer. Barisic, who has one year left on his contract, um, is free to speak to whoever he wishes in January um, and sort out, certainly sign a pre-contract. Now, as Rangers did with Jose Cifuentes, they agreed that pre-contract, but then obviously moved him before uh, he was out of contract in December. And there is a lot of talk that Zagreb wants to move Barisic before he is out of contract in the summer. This certainly would be a good thing for Rangers because it would allow them to get some money for him, um, given the fact that if he is allowed to run down his contract, he will walk for nothing in the summer. And given the amount of wages and the original fees we pay for him, it is obviously a loss of money. According to the Croatian media, this is what the has been reported in Croatia. Now, a new name has come out. Dinamo Zagreb wants Borna Barisic. The Croatian representative has entered the last year of his contract with Glasgow Rangers. The Scottish media have been writing for the last few days that he could sign a new one. But of course, Barisic is in a situation where he can choose what he will do. And obviously, that is the situation. He is in a situation where he can pick and choose what he wants to do. There has been obviously contract, rumoured contract talks between Rangers and Borna. Um, and, you know, I think given the fact that he did start the season fairly well up until very recently, there are, there's been a growing... Um, debate on this about offering him a new deal. In Maximir, they smelled an opportunity. Barisic was shyly mentioned in some previous transfer deadlines. However, as we know, it is difficult, almost impossible, that they will succeed in realising the transfer by Friday and the end of the summer market. They have taken action. Some contacts already exist, but at this moment, it is more certain the return of Borna will be worked on during the fall, obviously in January. So it does seem that there has already been negotiations and talks between Rangers and between Borna Barisic and Dinamo Zagreb. Now, Borna Barisic is someone who divides fan opinion. You know, I certainly get criticised for criticising him. Um, there's a couple of people in, in particular who, uh, who seem to absolutely love him no matter what he does. 
Uh, Barisic, who hasn't been deemed good enough for almost two, two full seasons uh, by a lot of Rangers fans, is still very much first choice for Michael Beale uh, due to his delivery, due to the fact that Michael Beale wants to use the fullbacks for wit. Well, apparently. Um, Borna's delivery is very good, so it does show that he may be very reticent to allow Borna to leave, especially as Ridvan also is exceptionally injury prone. So what do you think? Is this a goer? Is this a possibility? Could Borna move on? Um, is January better than in the summer? Or do we cut our losses now and try and get a little bit more cash for him, which is obviously certainly possible now than would be in January? The closer a player gets towards the end of his deal, the less money you can certainly get out of a buying club for him. You know, you've only got to look at the fact that we reported they only paid one to one and a half million for Jose Cifuentes, who at one point was quoted as 10 to 15 million pounds. Well, look, personally, I think, you know, if he's in, he's in the last year of his contract. I think he's failed abysmally for the last two seasons in terms of his quality of his defending you know he's been able to blame for a number of goals he often falls asleep he doesn't track back very well his tackling is not great for me if we can get money for him even if we even if it to be honest with you I would sell him now if you can get money for him now if we can get three million for him now as opposed to say one million one and a half million in January or even if you get two million for him now I would very much like to see Borna sold and moved on I think he's kind of reached the end of his journey with the club I think he's reached the end of his usefulness with the club and certainly you know I think what has happened with Borna and the PSV game and Borna and the Celtic game has left a very sour taste in a lot of fans mouths and they will certainly let Borna know the first mistake that he makes one if he does um, return to Rangers to play against St Johnston after the international break. Well, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is it time to say goodbye to Borna? And if you've enjoyed the content, please come and join the over 3,000 others and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on your free daily updates. As always, two things I need you to do for me, guys. Number one, smash the like. And number two, remember always, we are the people. <laughs>